All right, we got a heating system that they're saying only half of it works, which isn't uncommon. These things have electrical meltdowns pretty frequently. So let's pull this down. Pretty simple circuitry. I've got it unplugged, uh, but just looking in here, there's no intelligence, there's no thermostat. It's heating or it's not. Um, and again, the fact that it's heating at all means we haven't had catastrophic. Those are super hard and crunchy. I'm not gonna mess with it yet. High temp wire, everything in here has to be high temp wire and ceramic wire nuts. So my problem's not gonna be in here because there's only one circuit coming in, one circuit going out, and I do have some heating. So my problem's gonna be either a bad uh, element because it has to jump through elements or a wiring meltdown. So let's flip this over and go that route. All right, simple circuit just from looking at it. Even if I don't, I don't have a clue what's going on. How does this work? Well, I saw the switch runs out and splits. So you've got basically a hot, and this is 110 volts, so it's low voltage. So you've got a positive going out into this heater, out into this heater, out and back. And this one the same. So here's the thing. Uh, this is the front and this is the back. So let's clamp on, let's turn on the power. Back heater circuit, 4.3 amps. Front heater circuit, bubkiss. All right, well, you know, we don't have to mess with this side. This is what we're looking at. Power down, unplug. I'm gonna put these two plates back in and I'm gonna pull these out. Okay, straight into the truck. Okay, step one was disassemble everything, meaning there's my hot leg coming out. So I actually took everything off and then there's my neutral coming back. So every heater has a line in and a line out. So what I wanna do is, I'm gonna guess, looking at this physical ceramic, this thing is bad. Cause that's got something protruding out of it. So I'm gonna take my hot and run it into the first one and then I'm gonna take my neutral and run it back. Then we'll fire it up amp clamp, and if I get amps, then I know this is good. And I could test that one and see, but that's going to be bad. Plot twist. No amps. We are running hot in out huh well so this one is definitely no good let me test the next because if this one dies then it stops the power running to the second i i would have bet the other direction and also no amperage coming from the back one so i'm going to check voltage i don't see a way where one of these circuits is dead somewhere else. So I do have a connection here if it's bad, right? Anywhere we could have a fit connection is a failure point. So we're gonna go to the farthest point, see if I have my 120 volts. If I do, then I know both of these elements are bad. This is why I love Wagos. It allows me to cap off the lines, put my meters in it, my meter leads in it. 120 volts. So, we got a good circuit. We just got bad elements. So, what's the part number on this? There it is. <clears throat> so, we'll look up the elements and get them ordered.